It's Monday and I'm on my way to the cafe. But let me film forward because it's a beautiful day. The weekend was long. <laughs> I tried to finish the the file where I do my research on the authors and the series of the agent. I severely estimated how much time that would take. Essentially, uh, I did like 10 hours of work on um, just this, just looking at the, at the series and understanding which one would be which one would be good for us, noting down their information, etc. Uh, it, it, it wasn't like, you know, I was not doing anything else. It's like, like I said, it's a very, very light work. Uh, so I'm going to the cafe again today and I will continue going through the catalog of this agency, looking at the books that they have and yeah, hopefully we'll finish it today. I also want to update the release schedule for our Cecily upcoming releases. I have a, an Excel table where I know which books are coming out when. Uh, some have definitive dates. This means that the book is already uploaded and waited to, waiting to go live. Some have probable dates and this is also used by the person who's doing our newsletters. So they can have a look there and prepare them ahead of time. Uh, but it also helps me to see, okay, we have a gap on this week because we, I try to publish, no, I try, we publish one little RPG every week. So when we have a gap... All right, my video was cut off there, but essentially what I was saying is that I can see if we're missing a release somewhere and if nothing is ready, I can publish a box set or something like that. So anyway, I arrived at the cafe and got straight to work. Okay, the time is 2.40. I'm heading back home. Uh, I did a lot of work, but I didn't start working on the list until I was one hour, one and a half hour uh, there. Um, I got a, a few emails. One of them was from... Um, and also that we're publishing the uh, the sister series, so we will be publishing a second uh, series of theirs, um, which is, takes place in the same world. It's like a spin-off series. Uh, she sent us the um, the covers for the new series. Uh, at least most of them were missing one paperback, which is yeah, is still in progress. Then uh, I got another email from our designer about a series that we will be publishing uh, we are translating from German to English and we will be publishing later this month um, the final covers are ready uh, for that um, uh, I'm waiting on another trilogy of covers from them uh, which will be one of my own series that I will be republishing when I have all those six covers ready I will be sending an email to an audiobook producer that I've worked with in the past um, you know tell them these are the books we'll be publishing in the next six months are you interested in the audio rights uh, because I don't want to deal with uh, English audiobook production um, and then I worked on the on the list I still have some books left but I think I'll go home now, uh, grab a bite, and then finish them. I don't think if they, uh, I have more than half an hour uh, of work left. And yeah, after that, I'll go to the gym. Oh, and another thing that, I, uh, that, that took place, I mean, it wasn't one thing, but uh, due to us uh, pushing, uh, getting more rights, and communicating with more authors. I've had a lot of emails about um, getting the rights uh, for, uh, for the German market. So yeah, I replied to those emails. Some people want to work with us. So I sent them the, uh, um, the contract. Others uh, would prefer to do it themselves. So I just, you know, offered as much information as I could 
uh, you know, where they can find translators, what are best practices, how to vet them, and things like that. Uh, hopefully, this will help them. Uh, you know, it's good to keep good relationships uh, with authors in general. If they don't want to work with us, if they'd rather do it themselves, I don't want to sell uh, to sell our services, to sell our publishing house to them, because I want to work with people who would rather spend time writing the next book and instead of micromanaging how their translations are going to be put out. Um, and even if I don't help them, they will get this information somewhere. They will do it themselves. So if I can create value by, you know, telling them, be careful of this, you know, what I've, what I've learned from my mistakes, then it's all for the best. Yeah, so it's getting colder. So I'll go home and continue from there. It's Tuesday and I'm at the cafe. Uh, the time is, yeah, it's getting closer to 10. I'm already... Uh, half an hour in I the web designer that has that is responsible for creating our uh, Shopify store for our direct sales has told me that we need certain texts certain policies in German I'm trying to make sense of what is needed and how I can create them or at least some examples um, that I could have translated uh, that I could get translated and um, if they are I'm also trying to get information on if they're necessary at all so I, I asked some people that have already done this um, and now I'm trying to make sense of the research that I have been doing the whole last week which is essentially uh, how many books uh, out of an agent's um, list are viable for the German market. I'm sorting them by number of reviews, by average um, rating, uh, by read-through rate, which I get by dividing the number of reviews on book one and with the number of reviews on book two. And I'm trying to make, create a short list that I will then send to the to the agency, and they can take this. Uh, they can take the offer that we have already discussed during our call last week to the authors and then we can go from there. Hopefully, this file will serve as, um, will serve me for a long time. There are, I think, uh, I have noted down 678 series, book series here. This is series from two books up to 20-something books. And these are all series that I, um, I clicked on the link, I saw the covers, etc. Uh, not all of them are fit for publishing in Germany. Some of them are very old. Some uh, have a lot of reviews, but just the review number is not a good indication that a book is uh, going to perform well because maybe it it was published on a different time, maybe that uh, particular sharp genre was for at the time, and there was a lot of fat spent, but um, if the reviews, if the rating is like 3.94, it would not fly today. Um, yeah, so I need to make a decision on that, and then... Uh, I know that I have another task. Ah, yeah, and then I want to prepare a plan for box sets. Um, how am I going to bundle books um, so that we create an additional, uh, let's say, line of income for the series that we've already put out? I need to think about um, which books of these I want uh, to sell directly on our website because uh, most of the income from box sets comes from Kindle Unlimited and I cannot put, if, and if the books are in Kindle Unlimited, I cannot also sell them on the website. Because that's what, we're going, what I'm going to work on today. I realized that the past few days, meaning since I made a conscious decision that I'm not going to write until I feel I'm ready to jump back into it, my work is a lot more focused. This is also helped by the fact that I adopted Google Tasks in my daily workflow. All that is to say that I managed to carry out most of the tasks I set out to 
and sent an email to the agent asking for 30 different cities. We are not going to sign all of these at once, of course, but I did tell them that I'm looking for at least five cities at the moment. Hopefully, they will get back to me shortly and I can look into onboarding even more translators. Anyway, this was quite a productive day, so after I went home and walked Poco, I played some sweets and fooled around with my 3D printer. It's Tuesday and I'm at the cafe. I have quite a few tasks noted on my on my list of to-dos. I think most of them are, yeah. So I have a list of things that I need to ask my tax advisor when I visit them next week. Um, I have another one about the translations that I need to create for the website, which is a privacy policy, the terms of service, and the, and the fund policy. Those things I have completely handed over to one of our translators, and they will start working the um, thing next week. Um, I saw that I have a message from one of our designers, uh, which is about the covers of the trilogy that I'm going to be re-releasing. Once those are finalized, I can go to another one of the tasks, which is immediately with the audiobook publisher, giving them the option of getting the rights. Uh, I need to format those one of those trilogies, which is already edited and uh, ready for, uh, to be uh, republished, at least text-wise. Um, yesterday I also spoke with uh, the editors of the German to English translation that we are going to put out um, later in this year. He is working on book one, he's making progress on book one. Um, yeah. And in terms of emails, I see that I have some responses from uh, people that I uh, emailed uh, about doing their, potentially doing their German um, series or rather translating their books into German. And I also see an email from the agent that I did all that work last week for uh, with the title Accepted Offer. Uh, I see that one, two, three, four, five authors have already uh, agreed to our offer, so we should be getting um, probably a steady flow of uh, new Roman titles to, to translate. And yeah, I guess I'll get on with what we have to do today. And <clears throat> Hopefully, I'll have half of them done by the end of this, of the first coffee. Yeah. I carried on focus work for a couple of hours before my partner visited for lunch and I took a break. I sent over a contract to the agent, and once she sends it back to me signed, I will send her the remaining contracts and also ask one of our translators to work on the series titles and blurbs so I can offer them to the agent and they can prepare the translated covers for us. I also got a response from a sci-fi author we've been in contact with lately. They have agreed to our terms for the translations and have now handed off our contract to a lawyer to make sure it's doing what we agreed. Finally, I got an email from an Australian romance author that I had previously contacted saying that they're open to the possibility of us publishing their books in German. After I responded to all these emails, I went home and practically ended my work day. Tonight I'll be meeting with some friends for food in a Georgian restaurant and perhaps cocktails afterwards. Can't wait! It's Thursday and I'm on my way to the cafe. Um, today is little bit release day. So today we're putting out Seth Ring's seven book in his Battlemates Farmer series in German. Uh, I already saw some comments on uh, on the groups. You know, uh, usually with Liter PG people post the books or the audiobooks as soon as they come out. Uh, that is helpful, especially with audiobooks because we don't know when they're coming out. We're just waiting for uh, Audible to release them. Um, 
Uh, so I will need to make the promotional post for that. And then I saw that the second Physics of the Apocalypse audiobook of mine is now out in Germany. So I need to... Oh, sorry. It's not out. It is ready. So the producer sent it to me. I downloaded it yesterday before going out and I... Uh, run the check so it's ready for production I need to upload it, prepare the paperwork and send it to the distributor and I saw that the the Kindle Storyteller Award winner for 2023 uh, Mr. Ogden uh, we are in contact uh, for his sci-fi uh, rights for that the series that won the award and I'm going to yeah, let, let me start working He won the award for this uh, for this series. Did I grab him? Did he? He won the award for this uh, for, for one of his series, and we will be translating uh, his books. Uh, he he had the contract signed and not signed. He had the contract checked uh, by his lawyers, and he's waiting for us to send him the, the final contract. I think I saw another email about uh, from a from a Roman author, but uh, yeah, that's it mostly. Perhaps I will fool around with writing a little bit, or maybe I will do some uh, admin tasks that are more on the organizational si- side of things. And what I need to do to scale this better and make it work with as little involvement from my side as possible. Yeah, let's go. All right. The time is half past twelve, and I'm going on a walk with Poco. Uh, I left the cafe, got a, got my second coffee to go, and I'll do some more work from home. It's a beautiful day today. What I forgot before is that today is the 29th of February, which means that it's. Time to settle the monthly invoices. So some of them came in, some of them I had to email the translators, the editors, the narrators, uh, all of that good stuff. Hopefully I'll have most of them settled by end of the day today. And there's always some that are delayed for one reason or another. And Yeah, but really there's not much more to do today. Uh, I carried out all my tasks and I think like around 3 o'clock I'll go to the gym and then take the rest of the day off. So as it turned out, a few more tasks came up. Another of our narrators finished one of his projects, so I sent it to the person who's doing mastering for us. Also, the sci-fi author I mentioned a minute ago came back with a signed contract, so at this point we're ready to move forward with translating his series. I have asked one of our translators to work on the titles and blurbs, and once we have them, I'll ask the author for the German covers. I also received two covers that our designer made for two romance box sets that we're planning on releasing later this year. Lastly, another of our translators finished his project, so I had to send him his payment and also move the manuscript to the next stage of the process, which is the editors and beta readers. And with that taken care of, I shut down the laptop at around 6 p.m. and played some sweets. It's Friday and I'm at the cafe. At the time it's 12 o'clock. I think I woke up like an hour ago and took work with Proko. Uh, I see that I have quite a few, seven emails that came overnight um, or, you know, because I started the fleet um, I see that uh, we have an invoice from Meta for uh, ads those are mostly Roman's book ads um, it, I mean, it's been settled I just need to file it and I also see that the person who's doing our short form content on Fiverr Uh, completed another project actually it's two projects so 10 short videos and then I need to send some files 
uh, actually just one document to my tax advisor and this is because um, yeah, Amazon really uh, makes this report with great delay so two months later so every month I need to put on reminders to send the one uh, the last one for each quarter um, yeah, it, it's a whole mess but it is what it is then one of our translators has finished uh, another book in a long-standing romance series and I yeah and I got a quote from uh, a new translator uh, I think it's quite high but I mean yeah everything is negotiable and anyway it's always good to keep in touch with new professionals and once those are taken care of I need to create the backend for some of the box sets uh, that I prepared yesterday and I think I already ordered the covers from our cover designer and yeah and then deal with whatever else comes up I forgot to mention that while I was walking Poco, I met a friend and we said we'd meet for coffee, so I only worked for around an hour before they joined me. For this reason, I continued my tasks from home and was done with everything at around 5. And that's it for this week. Thank you all for joining and I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I would really appreciate your support by subscribing, liking this video and leaving a comment. Perhaps you have a question you always wanted to ask an author or publisher? Looking forward to your questions. Okay, bye!